What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be unboxing another project for the Z. Um, as you guys know, I'm going to be doing a dual caliper setup in the rear. Um, I'll be installing that soon, but I got the other pieces to the puzzle in the mail just now. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it right here. Ready? Mm -hmm. yes, yes. This is from a local company called Twisted Images. Um, always try to support smaller businesses when possible. Let's so uh, shout out to these guys right oh, here, Twisted good. Images. I went ahead and purchased their dual caliper uh, hydraulic e-brake. So here's the handle right here. Um, it feels solid. It won't bend. It's nice and machined. <laughs> Package really nicely and this is the bad boy right here they were nice enough to throw in some adapters for me for free damn look at this thing can't wait to install oh. it so let me just roughly put this on damn look at this ah. All right, let's go test fit it in the car. All right, guys, so this is gonna be like your standard pullback e-brake. Um, I wanna mount it. Right there? Kinda. Is that enough leg room? Kinda low. Wait, Dad, I wanna try. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be the handbrake right here. Um, the build quality is solid. Um, I like how the, everything is already put together. I might probably weld this into the car, but I see there's already holes drilled, so that's awesome. Um, I'm going to make a custom bracket. We have to figure out where it's going to be mounted just because of the fact that I sit all the way back and Christine sits all the way forward. So where I originally wanted to mount it was not going to work because of the fact that the seat has to move. Uh, all the way forward and all the way back so uh, I might have to mount it a little higher this time I got some lines here so I'm waiting for a lot more stuff to come in the mail but pretty much this line right here is gonna run off of the hydro itself it's gonna go right on here just like that and then it's gonna come out I'm gonna run it through the center console all the way through the trunk and then out the bottom of the trunk and then uh, there's gonna be another line attached to this that's going through the bottom. And then I'm gonna tee it off here, just like this. And then I'm gonna wait for the, uh, wait for my other lines to come in and then they're, they're gonna come out to these uh, banjo fittings right here. And then uh, it's gonna go to the dual caliper. So it's a pr fairly simple setup. Um, I'm just waiting for everything to come in the mail. Um, I do have Drift Central on the 19th. So I wanted to get all this installed before then and tested it out uh, and test it out. Um, so as you guys know, we just installed the angle kit. If you guys want to get another look at it, we'll show you right now. Um, this thing is super awesome and I'm super excited. Ready? Uh huh. We lock to the left. Okay. Thank you know what? We lock to the right. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright guys, so I didn't actually have to go to the store. I found some material that I had extra laying around. Um, I actually use it to mount my garage door opener up there um and it's pretty thick so it it's pretty strong and it won't bend so i'm gonna just use this so what i did was i ended up cutting sh two strips it's the size of the actual uh handbrake so all i did was i measured it the length of it just like this so i found a way that i might be able to actually mount this without 
cutting up any of my interior pieces um, I'm just gonna have to drill a couple of holes and then I'm um, attack weld the two brackets together so let me show you guys what I'm thinking is gonna work this is plan a hopefully I don't need a plan B I think I should be able to stick this L bracket under here drill a couple holes onto my tranny tunnel right here and then I plan on welding the second bracket to it kind of like this if you guys can get the right idea kind of like that it'll be tucked up a little higher and it'll be hugging against the center console I'm gonna weld these together and then I'm going to mount the handbrake right on top of that because there's already holes in that piece of metal and there's holes on the bottom of here so I'm just gonna go ahead and bolt this down to that piece right there and that should be able to mount my hi my hydro a little higher so this will give me the clearance that i need hopefully um so that's the plan it's super simple and like i said hopefully we do not need a plan b so let's go there we go the first hole's done so i'm trimming the bracket so it'll fit right around this little hump on the trans tunnel and that turns out to be a perfect fit this is going to be about the placement that I want it to be as you guys can see the two brackets are right here I'm gonna probably weld them together about this position because there's that knee pad cushion right there and I don't want to have to cut that so I'm gonna mount it right up against it and uh, that should be able to give me enough clearance as well as clearance for the seat right here This is pretty much how it's going to be. Um, I will have to strengthen this a little because it, it is a little wobbly once you put this on. So I need a way to kind of strengthen it. But this is pretty much the placement. It's high enough so that the seat can go right underneath it. I just need to figure out a way to stop this from moving around. Um, I need to make some sort of brace or something. All right guys, so what I decided to do to fix the flimsiness is I'm going to try and double up on these brackets and hopefully that'll give me enough uh, thickness and rigidity so that it won't be, uh, I guess, wobbly. So hopefully that works. If not, I'm gonna have to find another way to brace it. Um, but I'm thinking this is gonna be the trick. So I'm gonna double this up, I'm gonna weld them together and then reinstall them back into the car and hopefully that fixes it. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, the bracket is finished. Um, I grinded out all my crappy welds, so it's nice now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test fit this in the car, and uh, hopefully it's strong enough now that it doesn't wobble, wobble side to side. Alright guys, so if you guys can see, I just have three self-tappers. So one up there, one here, and then I drilled one into the by the shift boot right here. So... I have the bracket so that way my center console can still fit and I did not have to cut any of my interior pieces so I'm gonna go ahead and bolt up the actual uh, handbrake and as you can see this thing is sturdy it won't move so hopefully it won't wobble anymore um, I did have to add this extra bracket right here that I found um, like in my pile of bolts and stuff so it fit perfectly with the bend like this so hopefully that lines up correctly. But as you can see, it's actually a lot more sturdier now. So we're gonna go ahead and bolt up the handbrake. All right guys, so this is it. This is my bracket setup right here. I do need to make it a little bit more rigid, but for the most part, it's pretty solid. I do need to add like a little bracing here, maybe. And on this side, just to keep it from wiggling a little bit. But it looks, and feels pretty solid for the most part. If you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I was saying that the, the seat needs to sit all the way forward because Christine sits all the way forward and I sit all the way back. Well, this bracket allows us to have uh, just a little bit of clearance with the seat right here. 
to have it all the way pushed forward and come all the way back. So this bracket works perfect. I just need to figure out how to make it a lot more solid. But for the most part, I love the way it makes the interior look. And the best part is I didn't have to cut any of the interior pieces. I didn't cut anything at all. So if I wanted to, I could put this car back to stock, just unbolt that uh, bracket right there, and then we should be good. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys can hit that thumbs up button down below, it would be greatly appreciated. It helps people find our videos. If you guys are new and haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys hit that subscription button. Also, hit the bell icon to be part of the notification gang. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out, and stay good. Bam!